Hello English 802 students. Once again, I'd like to welcome you to Unit 7, Lesson 5, and we, today we're going to have grammar. By the end of this lesson, we're going to achieve two main objectives. We will identify present perfect with already and yet. Also, we will identify adverb closes of time. Starting with present perfect with already and yet. I will ask you to pay your attention because this is a very important tense which is used in your daily lives like every day. And I would like also to tell you that the present perfect with already and yet comes in three forms. The first form is the question form. For example, when I ask you, have you tried sushi before? I am expecting two answers, either yes or no. Let's see the yes. Yes, I have already tried sushi. Here the form is affirmative because I am agreeing with the statement or with the situation. I'm not saying no. And when I say no, it will be this way. No, I have not or I haven't tried sushi yet, which means it's negative. Now, I want you to pay attention to the words highlighted in red. In the affirmative form, yes, I have already tried sushi. What does already mean? I will explain that later. Let me see now the negative. No, I haven't tried sushi yet. So, when I use the word already in affirmative form, yes, I have already tried sushi. I'm sure you know or you use this word, but maybe you're not familiar with the usage of it. We're going to explain this in details later. Let's see the second one in negative form when I say, no, I haven't tried sushi yet. Again, I will explain this right now. Let's see. When do we use already? Pay attention. Already refers to an action that has happened at an unspecified time before. What do I mean here? When I say already means I don't want to tell you when did this action happen or I'm not forced or let's say it's not essential to talk about the time. Let's see the example. Don't send the letter. I have already sent it. Is it essential to say that I have sent it yesterday or this morning? No, I just want you to know that I have sent it and don't make it a repeated action. Don't send it again. Here is why I use already i have already sent it i want to bring to your attention a very important note an affirmative which means yes in affirmative sentences already can come at the end of the sentence too for example i have cleaned my room already here, already came at the end of the sentence. Or it could be also, I have already cleaned my room. So it means it could come in the middle of the sentence. So it's fine, already is flexible. It can come at the end or in the middle. Now, let's move to yet. And the question is, when do we use yet? Yet is used in two situations. Let's see. It's used in negative statements when I say no and questions. When I ask a question, I use yet to mean not, which means I am disagreeing with the uh, statement and the period of time before and now. Let me clarify more and displaying an example. Pay attention to this example. Have you met the manager yet? Pay attention, yet here came at the end of the question. And the answer is no, it has to be no, 
because yet is defining the negative statements. So, no, I have not met the manager yet. And as I said, it has to come at the end of the sentence. And this is the note that I would like to bring to your attention. Yet always comes at the end of a sentence. It's not same as already. Already is flexible. It could come at the end or at the middle, but yet can never come at the middle of a sentence. Look at this example. Have you cut your hair yet? It's at the end. No, it has to be negative answer and have not yet. The answer is yet, uh, sorry, the answer is no and yet comes at the end of the sentence. Now, let's display the grammar rule of present perfect with already and yet. I think we mentioned many examples and it's clear to you now that the grammar is this way. Let's start with the first form of questions. When I want to ask a question, I start with have, then I address the subject, which is you, and then I move to the verb, which has to be in past participle form, which is the third form of the verb. For example, here, wash will be washed, the dishes yet. Yet comes at the end, as I have previously said. Now let's move to the second situation or form of the grammar rule, which is the affirmative statements. Affirmative means when I answer with yes. Now. We start, of course, with the subject. It could be I, it could be she, he, it could be any other name. Then it will be followed by either have or has. When do I decide if it's have or has, my dear students? Pay attention. When I'm talking about I, it should go with have. You have. We have. They have. So. The plural subjects take, have. And if it's singular, like she, he, it, they will be followed by has. Let's go one by one. I have already started the third form of the verb, the shift. Or she has, or let's say he has already cleared the Kitchen, cleared is the third form of the verb clear. Now, let me tell you something. Already, as I have previously explained, can come at the end of the sentence. So it's so fine to say, I have started the shift already at the end of the sentence. The same thing with the second example. Now let's move to the third form, which is the negative statement. Once I say negative, you should remember it's answering by no. So, the rule is as follows. Same thing, subject comes first, I, or it could be she, or he, or we, or they, whatever is the subject. Then, it has to be followed by have not, or haven't, has not, or hasn't. So let's go one by one. The first one, I have not done my homework yet. It comes at the end. It has to come at the end. Then she or he has, pay attention, it's not have, has not arrived, the third form of the verb, home yet. Can I say, I have not yet done my homework? No. I can't because the rule states that yet has to come at the end of a sentence. It's not flexible like already. Let me give you this task to check your understanding. I'll ask you to complete the conversations. Use the present perfect form of the verbs with already and yet. You have two conversations between a and B, again the same case with A and B in the second conversation. A, 
I see you have already prepared room 32. Now, the one between the brackets is prepare. I want you to use the present perfect along with already and yet and change the form. The first one is done for you. Go with the other examples or tasks and we will check the answers together. So let's check the answers together. Let's start from B. Yes, I have. When is the patient arriving? A, let's check. Not complete, it will be has not completed. Why did I choose has? Why didn't I say have? Because the subject is he, singular. So he has not completed the registration form yet. Again, I have to use yet at the end of the sentence. Let's move to the second conversation. A. Has Frank arrived? It's question form and yet is at the end. Look, here you have arrived. What you do is you transfer it into the third type or the past participle form and it will be arrived. Why did I ask with has, not with have? Because it's referred back to Frank. And Frank is one person, which means singular. So I have to use has. The answer is yes, he has. The same thing here. He's in the kitchen. Now let's see A. Great, because, pay attention, not give, it will be he has not given it has to be the third type of the verb then me the papers yet yet comes at the end it's very simple once you read the grammar rule and you apply it the same way that i've taught you you will get all the answers correct let's move to the second objective of today which is adverb closes of time when i say time you should know what is meant by the adverb closes of time and it means the below. An adverb close of time shows when something happens. When I say when, it means I'm looking for the time that this thing happened. It is usually introduced by time adverbs. What are the time adverbs? Let's see. As after, before, when. These are the common expressions used in time adverbs. Let me clarify that in two examples. The first one. After you read the book, 
write your feedback. Now, think about this sentence with me. We have two actions. Read the book, write your feedback. After you read the book, which means that reading the book should come first, you need to do something then, which is write your feedback. So, the adverb close of time after shows you that there are two actions. One of them came before the another. Read is first, write is the second action. When you serve food, put the tray on the side table. Now, the adverb close of time when can show me two things. It's either two actions happened at the same time or it could be one of them came before the other one. When you serve food, put the tray on the side table. It could be serving food comes first, putting the tray on the side table could come next, or while serving food, you put the tray on the side table. Both of them came at the same time. What matters here is using these adverb closes of time, showing you when those things are happening. Now, let me give you an exercise just to check your understanding. You will read the instructions of using a washing machine. I want you to complete the sentences with the adverb closes of time provided below. Let's see the instructions together. First one, make sure the machine is empty. Two, load the clothes be sure to check the pockets of clothing and remove any loose objects, such as coins and pens. Three, add the soap to the drawer. Don't fill above the max line. Four, put coins, then the start button will light up. So, before, make sure it's empty. This is one and this is one. Refer back to the instruction and fill in the gaps referring to the instructions. I'll give you two minutes to do this and we will check the answers together. Let's see the answers now together. These are the instructions. And the first one says, before you use the washing machine, make sure it's empty. Here, the adverb close of time before is telling you that there are two actions going to happen. First, you have to make sure the uh, washing machine is empty, then use it. As you put the clothes into the machine, check pockets for coins or pens. Here, the adverb close of time as is telling you that you could do two things together. When adding soap to the soap drawer, make sure it doesn't go above the max line. We have explained the adverb close of time when before, and I've told you that it could explain two actions happening together, or one of them is happening before the other one. So here, you have to add the soap to the drawer and make sure it doesn't go above the max line. So both of them are happening together. After, after you put coins, the start button lights up. Here, after is determining that there is an action happening before the other one. So you would put coins first, then the start button will light up. Let's go now to the summary of today's lesson. Already refers to an action that has happened without specifying the time, yet is used in negative statements and questions. Both are used in present perfect tense, which is I plus have plus past participle form of the verb, yet comes at the end, already could come at the middle or at the end. Last but not least, an adverb close of time shows the time and when something happens like as, after, when, and before. Thank you so much, my dear students, for watching, and I hope this lesson was interesting, and we will meet very soon in upcoming lessons. Thank you. Goodbye.